guys, it is a great day. It is Saturday, yes. <laughs> and today is a super busy day. I am filming a couple of sit down videos for you guys and I'm also gonna vlog today. So I plan on baking today. I'm baking some Christmas flavored cookies and I'm also going to be wrapping gifts today. I'm also going to the gym, but I won't probably show you guys that. Today is going to be a super festive vlog and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so a little update. I am done filming two sit down videos. Now we're on to baking, which I am pumped for. So first and foremost, I would like to thank Zoe Sugg for this inspiration that I have all of a sudden to bake gingerbread cookies. But basically, I've been watching some of her vlogmas. I've been watching a lot of people's vlogmases and her in her vlogmas, I don't know what day, really have no idea. She made these gingerbread New York City cookies or NYC cookies. And they're basically gingerbread cookies, but with white chocolate in them. They are from Jane's Pichisserie. And I think they're gonna be really good. They're gonna join me while I bake. So let's get into this. I'm going to measure out my light sugar. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. And this sugar is really old, but it was still in its packet, so should be okay. Okay, we're almost there. Ooh! Way too much. I got way too much. One, oh, not enough. Here we go. So I'm just going to cream the light brown sugar and the softened unsalted butter together and I will get back to you guys after that. Okay, so I creamed that, it was a disaster. I had to actually use my hands to like soften the butter first. I'm gonna add the egg and then it says to add in the vanilla if you're using vanilla. I'm just gonna vanilla. So I'm just gonna put a little less. So then you just beat that again. Okay, so that's done. And then add in the plain flour. So I need 280 grams of plain flour. I'm assuming that's around a cup, I don't know. I have 280. Okay, I have 280, I have flour everywhere. If you can't see this, it's a mess. And then the ground ginger. Call for one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger. Oh my God, that is strong. But I love a good spice. Then it's half a teaspoon of nutmeg and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So there we go. I love nutmeg and cinnamon. I feel like they taste the same though. They probably don't, but in recipes, I feel like I can't really tell if I'm tasting nutmeg or cinnamon. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder is here. So one and a half. Okay, that's one. That's a half. And then I think it's half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Half a teaspoon of sea salt, but I don't have sea salt, so I'm doing regular salt. I need to beat until the cookie doughs form, so I will be back. Okay, so I ended up using my hands because the mixer wasn't working very well. And then the last step is to just add the chocolate chip and we'll be ready to make them into eight dough balls. Okay, so I'm incorporating the chocolate chips now. Um, because I didn't have as many chocolate chips, my the weight of my dough is gonna be different because they say it's 120 grams for each dough ball, but I don't have that much uh, weight in my dough. So I'm gonna weigh out my dough and then see what that is divided by eight and then I'll do that size for my dough balls. But this is what it looks like right now. It, smells so good and it looks good too. So my dough weighs 841 grams. So I'm gonna divide that by eight. So my dough balls are gonna be 105 grams each. So that's what I'm gonna do now. 
And then I'm gonna pop them in our deep freeze downstairs for 30 minutes and then they'll go to bake after that. 108, 106. Uh, 105, perfect. So for me, they're gonna be like this size. They're still huge, they're big cookies. So they all weigh 105. That's gonna go in the deep freeze and then I'll put them to bake for, how long is it? For 12 to 14 minutes, probably on the 12 side because they are smaller than what the recipe calls for. And then once they are baked, I'll share what, they, what it looks like with you guys. So I changed because my shirt was really gross from baking. Um, but basically the cookies have been in the freezer for 25 minutes. So I'm taking them out in like five minutes, but I'm going to put my oven to preheat now just so that it's ready to go and the cookies are ready. Okay. So we have the cookies here. Oh my God, that is so cold on my hand. So I think I'm going to do... I think my plan, my plan right now is to do six on this big cookie sheet. They say to do four, but I, like I have only so many cookie sheets. So I'm gonna do six here and two here. Four cookies per tray at six, but I think it'll be okay. I could technically put three on this one. Yeah, that'd be better. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Three and five. Okay, so it's only been like five minutes, but they are pretty much like, they're not cool, obviously, but like the cookie sheet is cold at this point and like I can touch it. So I think I wanna try a cookie. Let's see if they are good. I've been eyeing this one the whole time. I don't know why, so. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. This is literally, oh my God, this is the best cookie ever. Oh my God, it's so good. Yes, I'm eating all of it. I ate it all. <laughs> mm. That was really good. 